Unfortunately, you can't trust everyone in crypto, but the good news is you can verify everything. This is part two of verifying that your ordinal inscriptions are indeed real. We will be decoding witness data to find the images that have been inscribed in our ordinals. This is definitely not something that everyone or anyone really needs to do, but I know that it makes me feel better to know that if all of the ordinal sites went down, I would still be able to find my inscriptions. We're gonna start with the taproot cow. This was actually the example that I learned on and it's a pretty small image, so it'll make things easier. I also wanna give a huge shout out to Satoshi Enjoyer, who I met in the Ordinal's official Discord. He's the one who taught me how to do this and knows so much about this space. Definitely give him a follow. Okay, let's get into it. Find your inscription whichever way you prefer. I happen to be on Magic Eden. That's not important. What is, is getting to the Genesis transaction. So I click on the little blue box to be brought to Mempool. Details, then click Show All. Witness data is actually divided into three sections. You want this middle part, so highlight it and copy it. Open a new tab and go to hexed.it. I know this looks scary, but stay with me. As long as you can use the arrow keys on your computer, you'll be able to figure this out. Hit new file, empty file. Click and paste the witness data that you copied from mempool.space. Make sure hexadecimal values is selected. Tax files, it was super easy to do a hex to text conversion. For other file types, we need to view it in binary, and that is exactly what we're doing. To start, you're just gonna move your arrow over to the right. Do this until the part that you see ORD. Now I have these selected and highlighted right now. You're not gonna do that. I'm doing that to show you. But do take note at the bottom where it says that you have three bytes in one range selected. You will always start by looking for the ORD. Go to the right again and you get to 01. That means skip to the next byte. 01 again, which means switch to the next byte. And I promise it gets faster after this. Now with nine, we're actually gonna look at this number here. Those nine bytes tell us that our ordinal is a PNG image. You're gonna skip the double zeros and go to 4D. Now you get to feel like a little bit of a hacker and we're using Bitcoin scripts. I just Googled Bitcoin scripts. This is the Wikipedia page. There's a ton of documentation on this. So 4D tells us the next two bytes contain the number of bytes to be pushed onto the stack. You hit right once to 08 and you'll notice it says 520 here. This pattern of 4D 0802 will be the same for any ordinal that you're trying to do this with at this time. The current libraries splice all of the data in two sections of 520 bytes. And now we're moving 520 bytes at a time. Since 4D told us that we use the next two bytes, we skip 02, and then you're gonna wanna click on 89 to select it. Now hold your shift key and hit the down arrow. You'll see the number of bytes that you've selected and keep going until that says 520. At 520 selected, we see 4D, 0802. Without holding shift, move your arrow to the right three times. And, and if you want to double check me, it does say 520 again. Click on F5, hit shift, and scroll all the way down until you have 1040 bytes selected. You'll see that now it says 4C instead of 4D. That's because there's not another full 520 bytes left. So we're going to refer back to the Bitcoin scripts, where we see that 4C tells us the next byte contains the number of bytes to be pushed onto the stack. We see that E6 tells us to go 230 bytes. Just like we skipped 02, you're gonna skip 77. 1040 plus 230 is 1270. So click on 60, hold shift and go down until you reach 1270 bytes. And we made it to the end. One last step. Right click anywhere on the data and you will get this pop-up box. Export selected bytes to file. You'll get a pop-up and you can name it whatever you want but this is when our file type that we found in the very beginning of this tutorial comes in handy. So make sure to type in uh, the correct ending. In this case, it was .png. Save. And when you go to wherever you save the file, there it is, the ordinal inscription that you just saved using the witness data from mempool.space. In my opinion, this means ordinal inscriptions are definitely as secure as the Bitcoin blockchain itself. I am gonna quickly go through one more example. I'm gonna speed through a bunch of things, but that way you can kind of see what's consistent. I know it took me a few times trying this with a few different inscriptions to make sure I truly understood it. I will be showing you an example with Satoshi Enjoyer's frog. The next part is just gonna be a screen recording and voiceover so we can get through it faster. Okay, so we're gonna go through this process live. We go into the Genesis transaction, copy this, and once again, you can get to this part in a multitude of different ways. Go to mempool.space, I actually already had it in there. Paste it in, find the transaction. Uh, go to details with inputs and outputs, show more.
copy and paste that middle section. The first part and the third part are Bitcoin things that you don't need. Copy that, go to the hexed.it, new file, blank file, make sure it's hexadecimal values, paste it in. And so you're first gonna start, go to the ORD. Once you find that, the O1 says so skip, O1, skip again. This will tell you 10. And I'm highlighting here just to show you, um, but if you go to one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, mistake in real time, let's go. And I'm honestly really bad at counting. So to unselect things, you have to have the, you have to be pressing on the last one and then go back. Um, you'll see me do that a few times here. But anyway, hopefully you guys are better at counting than me. But that gets you to WebP, that is our file type. The double zero says skip again. And then we get back to our familiar pattern of 4D0802. And now we're back to counting 520. So shift, hold down. And we're gonna do a bunch more sections of 520 in this one. Um, I can't count, miss again, skip. You see 4D, 0802, 520 again. So you go down to 1040. This is what we did with the first example with the cow. I sped this next part up. It's just more sections of 520 until we get to our last uh, section where you no longer see 4D, 0802. Also, do not be scared to use a calculator. I definitely did that. Um, yeah, not a math person. So on this one, we actually end up having 4D again, but there's not a 08 after it. Instead, it's a 1E. We already know the pattern for 4D. We don't need to go back to Bitcoin script. So we add 286 like shown in 1E. And at the end, I ended up going like one over. So you see me struggling to get it back for a sec. Um, but yeah, this should take you pretty much to the end. Um, if for some reason you have a really small number of bytes or a number that does not exist any longer, go back and double check. Anyway, uh, you are going to right click and save this. And if you remember, we saw that our file type was WebP. So that comes in handy in just a second. I'm still fooling around here, but uh, yeah, we're almost done. So not going back to re-speed this up, but you will see in a second, four, three, four, oh, six bytes selected. I finally get it. Um, and hopefully this makes you feel better if you're not great at clicking things either, because, you know, we all have skills. And also before we end, I just want to shout out Satoshi Enjoyer one more time. He literally sat with me and taught me how to do this and I am so grateful. So save as, uh, I'm doing frog.webp. Saving it to my desktop and look at this guys, I have now gotten the metadata from the blockchain. And no, if you download it, it does not mean it's yours, but it's a cool skill.